Hey guys, it's Jess and Wayne. Yo, yo. The Comicholics. And today, we have a very interesting haul. A few different types of books. Yeah, we got some new issues. A 25 cent haul, which is really fun. Yeah. Uh, as well as some back issues and then kind of our bigger books that we got this week. Even though they're not that big. They're not really, but they kind of meant a little bit more to us when we found them. Yeah. We'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, starting this off, we're going to start with the new issues like we always do. But... We got kind of an A-OK -okay from a, a friend. Yeah. Our friend Steve from uh, Pinball that we uh, play every Tuesday, as you guys know. Mm -hmm. He got us these uh, Walking Dead, the blind bag ones. He got yeah. us issue one, two, and then uh, another one. Yeah. Uh, he actually went to Salem, Mass., which we frequent but could not make it this year. And while he was there, he was so kind. Shot us in a uh, text, I almost said email, but this is 2001. <laughs> but no, he, gave, he sent us a text saying, hey, guys, picked a few things up for you. We were so, so grateful. Yeah, he did not have to do that. No. And we are, this was a lot of fun to open, to be quite honest yeah. with you. So we already opened them and bagged and boarded them. So let's see what we got. Yeah. We got Walking Dead, Issue 1, The Blind Bag, and we got the Cool Virgin cover. So that was, that was fun. It was. Then we got issue two as well. Thanks. And another virgin. <laughs> Things are rare these days. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. That was it was fun. I like doing the blind bags. That was it cool. was. I feel like we haven't done that in a while. So. And then he also threw in this one as well, the Walking Dead two day special. So thank you so much, Steve. Such a cool guy. We'll have to grab drinks again soon. Yes, we Hope will. you're watching. That was awesome. Hope so. <laughs> and um, for the new issues, again, like we do always, we're going to kind of go through them quick just because you guys have seen them a million times. Mm -hmm. And so these are from this week and the and last week. We got Batgirl number 28, the variant cover, the Joshua Middleton variant. So good. Our LCS, we just went right before this video again, and they had quite a few left, so I don't know. Yeah, I was surprised too. I wouldn't pay scalper prices on eBay because they're yeah. still readily available. Definitely. Then we got... Gorgeous Catwoman yeah. cover. Catwoman 4, the art germ variant. That looks like a photograph. Yeah, that really does. That's probably one of my favorite art germs, okay. even though I feel like I say that every time. I know, but that's what happens when you're good. Yep. And then we got Venom number 7, RLCS, the one, the secret variant, the one with the tongue sticking out, they were charging $15 for and I was like, eh, nah, I'm all set. Yeah. Not really. Set. <laughs> a little tongue action for 15 bucks. It's, it's tough because we don't like to go to LCS and feel like we're trying to buy on eBay. Exactly. Then we got the Life of Captain Marvel number four. Uh, please excuse my, uh, I, I don't know. It's the first appearance of, I, I honestly can't remember her name. I think it was a new Marvel. Mm -hmm. I'm probably I might be wrong, but picked hey, it up. Educate us in the comments. Yeah, please. My apologies. So we got cover, cover A. Though. We got cover A and cover B. I personally like the regular cover better. I yeah. think it looks good. I honestly like both of them. I, I can't complain. <laughs> yeah. And then, this one, so nice. Yep. So I was I'm kind of curious about this cover. This is Spider Gwen Ghost Spider number one. Another art germ. So I'm confused. Is this like one of those cosplay issues where it's like Supergirl cosplaying as Stop. spider Gwen? <laughs> you had Stop. no idea what I was going no, with. No, I didn't. Or it might even be um, Jane Foster Thor as Ghost Spider. I'm not... I don't know. I don't really get the art germ. You know what else I don't get? What? Ghost Spider. Ugh, what a mouthful. That I don't like it. That does not roll off the tongue. Ghost Spider. Not, not a fan. Give me my spider... Not my Ghost Spider. <laughs> Absolutely not. So we got this one. As well as the, uh, what are they calling these things? I I am so sorry. I'm out of it right now. It, that's not a virgin cover. I think it, it is. is it? It's some sort of variant that they all are, and I can't remember. But Oh, I love those colors, too. Yeah. Had to pick that one up. As well as the one that everybody picked up. We got Venom Annual 1, the Delato variant. This thing is just beautiful. <laughs> yeah, um, is. I remember when they announced that. Everybody was going nuts. There's so much detail in it, too. It's very, like, grotesque, but it's... Very artsy. And then the last one we got is Weapon H. I don't even remember what number it is. I just saw the Red Hulk version cover and had to grab it. <laughs> don't even know what number it is. They just leave you guessing with that cover. Yeah, they're really selling those, though, I mean. Yeah, what are you going to do? All right, and on to the 25-cent haul. Um, no, I don't I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll go through Yeah, it. I mean, there's nothing insane. 
really in these but so one of our lcs has opened up another location where it's kind of like an outlet and they had a ton of long boxes and they yeah, were like, 25 cents they probably had like 30 long boxes right and they were just 25 cents each so and it was definitely there was a lot of newer issues yeah uh, like kind of back issues but then there was like those random few older, older yeah. ones so it, was it was cool yeah it was pretty cool we got free comic book day mega man worlds unite prelude oh, that was put me some mega man mega man uh, we got another free comic book day yep teenage mutant ninja turtles I just you love, love that cover. I do. Turtles. I really, really you do. And I love them so much. And I love that cover, too. We can't watch them without Wayne wanting pizza after the worst. True. <laughs> we got What If Cable Had Destroyed the X-Men. Just The World Magazine? Yeah. You want to read that? Awesome cover. This one I found showed it to Wayne being like, ew, this is creepy. And he goes, give that to me. Yeah, Pinocchio and the Emperor of the Night. Uh, this is issue one. I actually just saw this on Instagram, too. Somebody showed this for, like, the Halloween uh, tag thing that's going around. It looks like Diablo or, like... Satan. Yeah, literally. Yeah, that's... Or Darth Maul or something creepy. Mephisto. That's who it is. It's mm. Mephisto. All right. <laughs> it's creepy. Your favorite. Mortal Kombat X. This is number one. This is the third printing sketch variant. Yeah, that's what it is. Love that game. Then we got Super Soldier Man of War number one. Just another cool amalgam cover. We love those books. We do. Some Jason Goes to Hell. <coughs> I mean, Wolver uh, oh, there he is too. Wolverine Goes to Hell. This is X23 number three. Unfortunately, that $1 sticker is on the book, but whatever. What we're we're going to read it, so yeah. it'll be fun. I mean, believe it or not, we actually found this one too. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> this is Ripley's Believe It or Not, uh, True Demons and Monsters, just a cool gold key, and it's, again, 25 cents. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to read that one as well. Uh, vision number three. Vision number two. two. And did we do it? Did we get yeah. number one? No. 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 Oh, yeah, that's a number one. <laughs> we got Killer Frost Rebirth number one. Uh, this cover's so funny. I don't know me. why we picked it up, to be honest. It's just really funny. Uh, Planet Terry, number one. Awesome. Might give that a read. <laughs> this one we found there, too, which I think is pretty darn cool. Yeah, this is the New Mutants Annual 1. Uh, what was it? It was Early X-Force, and it was the last issue, so that was pretty cool. So, last yeah. issues are always fun to collect. Oh, yeah. This one, purely for the cover. Yeah, um, you wanted that one there. Yeah, there really wasn't many Harley Quinn or anything, but I went and found that. I really like Harley that Quinn 3. Am I wrong? I, again, I haven't read this, but is that supposed to be a hot dog with ketchup on it? And <laughs> it's I like a hot so, dog. Or just like a really big Lame logo. Bean. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Anyways. <laughs> Another 25 cent. This one, which is very random, but kind of has a little meaning to us. Yeah, this is Dark Avengers 186, but... If you guys, we, we've mentioned in other videos, we play Marvel Puzzle Quest. Yeah. It's a morning ritual. We play it every morning. Play it on your phone. Yeah, your phone too. And this well, is the yeah. cover for... And you play it on a phone. Oh, I think you play it on my oh, phone. Oh, like, no. Girl, you got your own. I got my own. I got my leveled characters. But yeah. it is so much fun and it's so addicting. It's so. very addicting. But this is the cover for Ragnarok in the game. And it's free. So. Yeah, shout out. Yep. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. This was uh, one of my favorite ones that we picked up for the 25 cent haul. This is Green Lantern, the animated series number 13. Mm -hmm. Enter Lobo. Lobo. I thought that was really cool. I like yeah. the animated series type of books. I do too. Yeah. All right, and now on to our back issues. This one's Fire Flames. I, oh, love, I love covers that. that look like this. So this is Batman 47. This is the Alex Ross sketch variant. Love that so much. Alex Ross can he cannot seriously. do wrong. No, he can. <laughs> uh, shout out to Smot Lock. Uh, so in our last haul video, we showed Marvel: The Lost Generation issue one, which I thought would be the first issue. Mm. So I was like, oh, you know what? It's probably the first appearance of all these characters. No. Well, I was wrong, and they do it different. So issue twelve is actually the explosive first issue. <laughs> <laughs> issue one of twelve. So kind of odd how they do that, but. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Figured we'd pick this one up. Uh, oh, yeah, that Alex Ross was $2. This one was $1.50. Yeah. I think I might get the whole 1 through 12, give it a read, and yeah, see what happens. Yeah, I think it's kind of different. 
Nice little signed book for you. Yep, this is JLA, Our World, World's at War. This was 250, signed by Ron Garney. Yeah, there's no, like, certification or anything with it, but it's just really cool to have. Yeah, and we really do like signed books. We do. It, we started with one, and now it's just an addiction. Right. <laughs> We're, like, signature holics. Moving on, <laughs> we got Ultimate Fantastic Four issue one. Got this for two dollars. This is um, not not in a hot book or anything, but it did kind of get some attention because Reed Richards, the maker, it's where he appears first. So mm-hmm. figured we'd grab it. This uh, heating up a little bit more because yeah. the the 2020... Eternals. I, is it? I can't remember if it was 2020, 2021, 2022. Regardless, they did announce yeah. formally that. That and the Black Widow movie are getting made. So in the future, we will see that. Yep, so this is the Eternals number 12. First appearance of Unimind. Mm-hmm. Looks like something else, but... All right, you say that every time. <laughs> we show that a couple times. This was $2. Um, I think this is really cool. Yeah, Marvel Age number 2. This is the preview of Alpha Flight. Mm-hmm. Got that for $3. Wow, that rain's wow, coming rain. down. Love Anybody uh, on the East Coast... No, that brain's hitting real hard. Love it. <laughs> um, you good? <laughs> yeah. This is what the what the eleven. I don't know. Is this the first appearance of Wolverina? I I think it's a really cool cover. Yeah. It. I don't know if it's the first appearance. I've never read this, but it's a cool cover regardless. And yeah. Probably give it a read. Yeah, I've never really checked out the what does, but I did see a few when we were looking. So. Yeah. And then we went to Newberry Comics. And just wanted to get some of their exclusive covers. So this is The Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number one. Got this for a dollar ninety nine. Thought that was pretty cool. Cool variant. And Champions number one, the coloring variant edition. This is a Newberry Comics exclusive. Uh, exclusive, exclusive as well. Exclusive. And we got that for two dollars. Um. And another back issue. Uh, this is just an amazing Spider-Man ash can, which I think are <laughs> you. She goes, oh, it's an ashtray. She really thought they were called ashtrays. I'm really sad. I can't keep messing words up. <laughs> the ashtray edition. No, but we learned, or at least read up about these more in depth recently, and that's really cool to have. Yeah. Maybe we'll start collecting those a little bit more, but this was $1. Yeah. And get Maybe the last we few might books. get a second one. <laughs> yeah, these were found at the same location. Uh, this one was also dollar. This is the Incredible Hulk Ashcan edition. Can't remember which issue is the wedding issue. Is four seventy seven or something like that? But it's uh, also the first appearance of Talos. Talos, who's going to be in the Captain yeah. Marvel movie. So that's just this. so cool. Yeah, and we got it for a dollar. Thought yeah. that was pretty, pretty good find. Never overlook your local antique shops. That's right. Uh, this was from the 25 cent haul, but, we'll, mm-hmm. but we wanted to show it later. This is the Astonishing Ant Man issue six. This is the first appearance of Cassie Lang as Stinger. And not a spec book or anything, but I think it's just kind of an underlooked book. Mm-hmm. Uh, Young Avengers six, the first appearance of Cassie Lang as Stature, I feel like gets a lot more attention, and yeah. I think it's more likely. Yeah. But with the whole time travel thing going on in Avengers four, it's rumored that she's going to be Stature. But. I don't know. You never know. She could be Stinger instead, and this book could... Yeah. You know how they like to trick us. Yeah. And for 25 cents, we weren't. Yeah. No. Uh, This is the Invincible Iron Man number 14. Thank you, Key Collector Comics. Yes. (laughs) They, uh... Not spawned. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. He, uh, put out that this is the issue where Pepper Potts gets the codename Rescue, which we did open up and saw that. It was a pretty cool panel. Yeah. So. Definitely. So this is the issue where she... Yes, the code name. This was a dollar fifty. And to go along with that storyline. Yep, we got the Invincible Iron Man number twelve. This is the first full appearance of Pepper Potts as Rescue. Pretty interesting Or at least in the armor. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, I'm sure you guys have all seen. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow showed the behind the scenes picture of her in the armor, so it's pretty much confirmed that she's going to be Rescue in the movie. Yeah, so that'll I mean, be very interesting to see. We have a few theories about it. Yeah, it'll be cool. Yeah. And this again was a dollar fifty. And then, I think our top mm-hmm. book that we got this week, this one we just got a couple hours ago at the antique shop for one dollar. Yeah. Actually, it was it was less than a dollar because it was ten percent off. Remember? What would, would, would it? Ninety cents. Ninety cents. Yeah. So Sorry, this guys, is. I did not. I'm not good. At <laughs> DC, uh, milestone. Yeah, 
Milestone Static Issue 1. This is the Platinum Edition, first appearance of Static Shock. We've been hearing people talk about this recently so much. Right, and I've never, ever seen this in the wild. Never really saw too much about it. And then all of a sudden, everybody's posting it on Instagram and their videos. And we just happened to find it today. Yep. It's, uh, I would say, VF+. Plus. It's got it's got a couple spine ticks, but it's really not that bad. I'm not gonna lie, the corners are pretty nice on this side. Yeah. And it, to be fair, there was in a massive pile of books, stuffed into a oh, the antique shop, like a curio so cabinet or yeah. something. Yeah. They have so many books, and you just go through it, and it's a lot of fun. But yeah, very happy to find that. Yeah, that was a really cool find. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth the trip. Um, yeah, so that's what we had picked up and collected over the past week or two. Yep. Uh, what else we got coming up? We got we just sent out another shipment to CGC. Mm -hmm. We have two shipments there waiting to get graded now. Yep. So we have three CGC unboxings coming up. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And we might be reviewing something. Yep. So we got our last our last video. I think it went pretty well. We did yeah. a. We're gonna start like a new series of comic comics review. Because, like I said, Nick, we get things and we open them we talk about them together but at the same time other people in the community probably also use that stuff and so why not share how we feel about it because we watch a lot of videos like that and it definitely gives us opinions about stuff yeah and we want to share our true honest opinions and like first reactions to the to the product yeah definitely um then we have Rhode Island Comic Con. We're going next Friday. That'll be fun. Yeah, make a little day out of it, even though it's 10 minutes down the road. <laughs> right. Uh, maybe we'll Uber there. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then White Whale Comics. We're making a trade with him. Yeah, we are. But it's probably going to have to wait until I get back. All right, so yeah. We don't talk about that. Rhode Island Comic Con's Friday, and then I leave to go to Washington State for All work. By myself. Yeah, that'll be fun. Not really, but... Anyways, he'll be back, and then... Then we'll do the trade. Yes. It'll be fun. So, we actually have a few videos coming up in the next week, so definitely yeah. look out for that. Definitely the review this week. We post a lot about more of, like, a day-to-day -day thing on Instagram. Yep. So follow us on that. Comic College channel. That's right, and we are definitely kind of pushing it with time, so... We'll yeah, cut sorry. It out. It's, <laughs> sorry. It's, it's been a little bit, so... All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know what you like the best, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah, we'll see you this week. Later. Bye, guys.